how to tell when your stay is dead and needs replacing. With stainless steel rigging, you always have to worry about, is it good, is it dead, has it broken, does it need replacing? Because these are all huge concerns because if your stay fails, your mast falls down. And that's really, really bad. So how do you know when it's time to replace it? I mean, it's, it's shiny, everything looks pretty, but this stay right behind me is dead and needs to be replaced. So let's look at the tiny little details that give it away and tell us that it's time has come. If you have swadged fittings, what you're going to be looking for are cracks in the swadge. So you're looking for little cracks, vertical cracks running up and down the swadge, and those are from corrosion. So moisture and everything goes in the stay, runs down into the swadge, and then the swadge just snaps open. And you get these vertical cracks running down it. That means that those swadge fittings are toast and you have to replace the stay. Now, better than swadge fittings are called compression fittings. And it's where the wire actually goes into this thing and gets crushed and compressed in there and it holds tight. And those have less, uh, they're, they're a bit stronger. So they don't crack as easily from corrosion, but they still die just the same. Naturally, the first step is going to be to expose your stay. You have to get everything off of it, and if you have a hank on sail, you have to take the sail off. That way you get a clean, clear, unobstructed view of the stay and all of its components. What we're looking at here, you have, down at the bottom, you have a toggle that attaches to the chain plate, which then goes to the high field lever assembly. Now, the high field lever is out of bronze, so it you don't really have to worry about crevice corrosion or anything like that because it's bronze, so it can't have that issue. But you do want to check and make sure the metal's not horribly corroded or tarnished. Now moving up, we then have the screw that goes into the turnbuckle on the high field lever, which then leads to a compression fitting to your stay. And this is the important part. From here up, it's all stainless steel. So at this point, all of this is stainless all the way up. And the important guy is right here. That is the sign that it failed. So you have a couple things. There's separation happening between the compression fitting and the stay. So the stay is actually sliding out of the compression fitting. And you can see that because there's this little ring of scuzz and gunk that used to be down in here all the way in. And it has slid up about a millimeter. And that millimeter means that it's failed. The second thing, if you look in between where the wires are spread a little, where they're going into the cone that sits inside of all this, there's corrosion coming out. And that corrosion also means that that wire is going. The next thing you're gonna look at is the stay itself. Because just because your compression fitting or swatch fitting at the bottom, your terminator, just because it's doing well doesn't mean that the stay isn't dying on its own. So what you're looking at when you look at a stainless steel stay is you want it to be bright and shiny all the way up and you want all the strands to be the same amount of luster. So they all have to look shiny and new. If they start getting corrosion or one gets more tarnished than the others and you'll see a dark line running up along, we call that a candy cane. And if you see that, your stay is done. The other thing you wanna check for is excessive spotting. So if you have a lot of little corrosion spots cropping up, that means that it's going as well. And lastly, if you ever get to see corrosion coming out from between the wires, you know that the wires internal are corroding and dying. So looking here where the wire spreads a little as it goes over the cone, you can see some corrosion inside there. So that means the internal wires are corroded. If we look here, you can see these little spots of corrosion on this. So it's got all these little tiny droplet spots. As we get further up the stay, those little tiny spots of corrosion get more and more pronounced. And then you can see up here, there's like full bands of corrosion. So that all tells me the wire is starting to go. And most importantly, and these are super hard to spot, which is why they a lot of times go unnoticed, you wanna look for horizontal cracks in the wire, which means that the wire has been overstressed and has actually snapped. Now, a lot of times the wire will then lift up and out and you'll see a raised wire running along the side of your stay. That's a really easy way to spot that it's dead. But they don't always pop up. Sometimes they break and just stay put. Now the other thing you want to look for is little horizontal notches cut into the wire. So they're teeny tiny little notches that are cut 
into the face of the wire. And they are not from the bronze hanks because bronze is actually softer than the stainless steel. So the bronze actually gets chewed away. If we look at a hank here, you can see how the bronze hank is actually notched and chewed up because the stainless steel is sharper and stronger than it. So the bronze is, uh, gets eaten away. And you can see that facet right here. That's not supposed to be there. So bronze hanks are actually disposable. They're consumable. The more you use your sail, the more they wear out. And as they go wearing out, your stay is protected because the bronze hank, which is easily replaceable, wears out instead. In summary, what you're looking for is at the bottom with the terminator, be it compression or swatch fitting. Is it cracked? Is it still holding the stay? Is the stay starting to slip out of it? All of those things mean that that part of the rigging is done and therefore the whole stay needs to be replaced. Then you move up to the wire itself. With the wire, everything should be a uniform luster. If you see that one area is a lot shinier and then you have this really tarnished line running up it, stuff like that, that means that it's going. You also wanna look for excessive tarnishing. So if you have all these little splotchy rusty spots, it's going. You wanna see if there's cracks in the wire. So if you have a raised wire, it means it's separated and has actually come off the stay. That means it's done. And if you just have a tiny little microscopic crack in the wire, that means that the wire has been overstressed and it's done as well. So all of these little teeny tiny key features tell you that your stay is done and needs to be replaced. Now, if you've done your inspection down here and everything looks great, you then want to go up the mast and check everything at the top of the stay because the same things apply up there. But in general, they die at the bottom first because all the water and corrosion, everything just comes down to the bottom and then it corrodes down here first. The top rarely is the first place to break. So you want to check at the bottom. If it's good, check at the top. If the bottom is bad, there's no reason checking at the top because you're already going to be replacing your stay anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.